Hello and welcome to Speedy Medical. In this video, we are going to take on the mycosis fungoides. So let's get started. So you might be thinking that what this term mycosis fungoides means. So first of all, let's describe the term mycosis fungoides. See guys, when the condition was seen, first of all, it looked as if it is a fungal infection. That's why the name was given mycosis fungoides, which means that this infection looks like a mushroom and it was thought to be a fungal infection. But later on when the histopathology was done and the lesion was analyzed further, it was found that it is not a fungal infection, instead it is a lymphoma which means that it is an aggregate of lymphoid tissue or the lymphoid cells. So the mycosis fungoid term it is basically a misnomer and instead it is the lymphoma. So let's get started with the mycosis fungoids and we'll discuss the pathophysiology and the clinical feature of this condition. Now the basic pathophysiology of mycosis fungoids is that in this condition there occurs the neoplastic proliferation of the CD4 positive T cells within the epidermis and the dermis of the skin. So primarily there will occur the neoplastic proliferation in the skin only and as a result of this there will be characteristic skin lesions which will be diagnostic of the mycosis fungoids. Now if we talk about the skin lesions, first of all there is a non-specific rash which is red in color and as the rash develops it will eventually evolve into a plague and the plague will further evolve into what is called as the nodule. So in case of mycosis fungoids, first of all in the skin there will develop a rash which will evolve into plague and eventually the plague will convert into nodule. So if we talk about the lesions in the skin, I'll share an image with you and you will realize that it is entirely a disease of the skin. So this is a slide which is showing the patient with the mycosis fungoids and as you can see that in the skin of the patient there are characteristic lesions and these characteristic lesions are actually the red lesions which are there and these are in the form of plagues and these plagues will ultimately convert into the nodules. Now if we do the histopathology of these lesions in the histopathology we'll find that there are actually the T lymphocytes and these T lymphocytes they have a characteristic nuclei which is called as cerebriform nuclei. Now it is called as cerebriform nuclei because it looks like the cerebrum and it is actually due to the infoldings which are present in the nuclear membrane. So if we do the histopathology we will see the T lymphocytes and these T lymphocytes will have a characteristic nuclei which is called as cerebriform nuclei and these cells are called as cerebriform cells. So cerebri is derived from the cerebrum because the nuclei has got infoldings like the cerebrum. So, in most of the cases of mycosis fungoids, the lesion is not localized to skin only. Instead, the lesion is disseminated and tumor cells they will involve the blood as well as the visceral organs. And in this condition, when the lesion is disseminated into the blood and the visceral organs, it is called as Caesaris syndrome. So it is called as Caesaris syndrome and it is characterized by both the skin lesions as well as the presence of these cells in the peripheral blood stream or the peripheral blood film. And these cells which are present in the peripheral blood film they are called as the Caesaris cells and these Caesaris cells they will have characteristic cerebriform nuclei. So in case of Caesare syndrome, we'll see the skin lesions as well as we'll see the tumor cells or the Caesare cells in the peripheral blood film and these Caesare cells will be the one who have the cerebriform nuclei. If we talk about the survival rate of the patients, the patients who have 
limited mycosis fungoids or the disease which is limited to skin only in those patients the survival rate will be for many years like 5 to 10 years but in the patients where the mycosis fungoids has disseminated and it has produced the cesare syndrome in those patients the survival rate will be decreased and the median survival rate will be like 1 to 3 years so this was all about the mycosis fungoids. In short, it is the CD4 positive T cells neoplastic proliferation within the skin involving the dermis and the upper epidermis. I hope you like this video. For more videos like this, do subscribe to our YouTube channel.